Hello everybody, it's Hannah again from Little Monkey's Happy Place. Um, I'm just popping this video up to show you Pullback Busy Train book. It is part of a selection of pullback and wind up books that we have. Um, they all come with a little toy that come, goes with the theme of that particular book and obviously this one it is a train. Um, there are some tracks for our little train to go whizzing round. So there's four tracks inside the book that I will show you in a moment. I have already taken a little bit of plastic out um, to be able to get my train out. The plastic keeps the train protected inside the book for delivery. So here we have our train right here. I'm gonna just pop it there for a moment. And inside we have got the very first bit. So it tells you a little bit about how to use the book. Um, you need to keep the book flat and um, pull back the train a few times to be able to see it whizzing around the track. So then we've got a little bit of a story, it's a busy morning at the station, train guard blows his whistle, follow the red train as it travels along the tracks until it arrives at the zoo. So the destination is going to be the zoo. So here we go, this is going to be interesting, holding a bone and doing this at the same time. So we want to pull it back a few times and then quickly get it onto the back. To watch it fly around. There we go. And on each page, you'll see there's a start marker for where to put the train to start off with. Busy train zooms um, out of the dark tunnel, and there's phrases all the way around to help you on the journey. Bits and pieces to read, so you can read them to your child, and then as they get older, they can learn to read them themselves. The busy train went past some goats. Can you spot them? So things in the pictures to have a chat about as well. So talking about where the goats are. What else can the child see in the picture? Um, you know, there's some bikes. How many bikes are there? How many people are having a picnic? You know, lots of things that you could chat about with your child. So here we are, another page. So I'll give a wind up again. Here we go. Pop it on. And there it goes, whizzing, whizzing round. So again, we're talking about a viaduct. You can have a chat about what a viaduct is. Um, going through some buildings, over sand, beside some fishing, around a hut. Um, went past some baby ducks, can you spot them? So we can see the baby ducks here. And again, you can have a chat about what else is in those pictures. It doesn't just need to stop at that. Um, carrying on again. So can you spot the scarecrow? all the different phrases and or sentences telling you about what the train is passing and where. And then finally, we get to the zoo. So we see all the different things in the zoo. Um, the busy train goes past some monkeys. Can you find the monkeys? Um, and again, just having a really good chat about what is in all of these pictures. You can perhaps have a chat about the colours and then you know, all these images are brightly illustrated so children will be more drawn to them, be more engaged in them. Um, this is great for kind of getting children involved in the book as well. They love a little toy. Um, younger children will find this particularly um, a bit more easier than our wind up ones because it doesn't take too much to be able to pull the train back to pop it onto the track. Um, and can help with a bit of you know learning about their coordination and things. And obviously, like I say, there's so many things that you can have conversations about, developing children's language skills, conversational skills, um, and just really uh, having a lovely time together. Um, these are really beautiful books. They're sturdy. My three-year-old has one, and it's still going really, really well. Um, so the toy lasts for, you know, as long as it's looked after. Um, and like I say, my child, my daughter's is still going really, really well. The this one in particular is fourteen ninety nine, um, and like I say, you are getting a toy and a book out of this. There's a bit of a story in there, and lots of like I say, um, opportunities for having a conversation and learning with your child. Afterwards, when you're done, you can just pop the little train back into there. You can keep the cover and pop the cover back over and I can get it on. And there you go. That keeps it all nicely together for another time of using. 
Um, if you would like to order this book, just check it out on the website or you can go onto my socials and pop me a message. Um, all the information's in the bio below. I look forward to um, coming back with some more videos soon. Bye.